timer went off so has to re-record. Bazaliel speaking. Don't be afraid when messages come in here. How spirits communicate with or how sometimes Max prefers to see us as psychological people. Same thing. When getting messages here, don't be afraid. Be neutral. Ground yourself. When you are ungrounded and get messages, it alters the flow of the stories. Better if you are calm when received and then calm the stories will be. Meditation could help us with this. Part of why it is difficult for us lately is our mind is active in such a way that is useful and perhaps our body is telling us to find and explore, explore things. But if you are concerned with the messages getting lately, could be beneficial to learn or for you music actually helps rather significantly so if you're worried putting on music calms you when you listen to the calming music that will help to ground and then the messages getting in will be clearer instead of the buggy glitchy um feedback nonsense that sometimes gets which is annoying and like on a radio when it's not working correctly um max watch this later and you'll understand what i'm telling you also belly yell was with me in the dark space where sometimes we speak to one another and in the dark space Belial is concerned by Max's adherence to outdated views on they could switch over and speak Belial says that Max has some archaic viewpoints on um, demonology that I think could use some corrections um, firstly, I think it would be better for you if instead of viewing us as, um, literal embodiments of hell, if you tried to view it from more of a psychological perspective, which you already do to some extent, but I have some notes, um, Instead of viewing it as these are real places and physical kind, well, I mean, you're not, you know, they're not physical, but the way you're viewing it is very, very storybook. And that's okay. That works for you. But also remember that these are ideas. We are living ideas and we're people as well, but the ideas are what is important. And the idea that I embody for you is one of um sacrifice and mending and healing from false sacrifice as well as um there's definitely some shadow energy there some angelic energy as well and energies that you associate with baphomet samael lilith some of the others are definitely 
a similar energy there, um, which makes sense. You need to remember and be careful that um, you don't let your stories outweigh the potential messages that could be otherwise learned because your imagination is so powerful that spirits succumb to it and play along with it even if they aren't necessarily intending to just because it's so core integral to who you are max um as a storyteller so i i just want you to to remember that you are on a journey right now you are on a new journey through engaging with me and listen to me without trying to fit me into the pre-established things you know because i am a new person for you um that's all i had to tell you and message Uh, Basil feels a bit of, mm, Corvus wanted to say something. Max, Corvus speaking. You were distressed yesterday by that nightmare that we had. Understandably so, me and Leviathan were also extremely distressed by the nightmare that you had. Um, remember that dreams are created by the mind, and I understood that you felt it necessary to do an exorcism ritual and a salt bath and other things immediately after that dream and different things, and I respect that and i think that de definitely was necessary for you and helped um but also i i do think it's important to note that there is not really necessarily a difference between ptsd nightmares and demonic nightmares i think the nightmare you had was actually a ptsd nightmare which you took to be a demonic nightmare and so acted accordingly and that worked for you and i think that's okay um but also it's not your fault and you can't always control what your mind makes up and um or minds <laughs> in our case and um you know it doesn't necessarily have to be I'm trying to think how to put this. I think you're processing some things right now, and I think you're afraid, and I think that might be affecting our spirituality a bit. And it's okay. It's okay to be afraid. Um. Anyways, I love you, and um, I'm going to keep protecting you and doing what I can for you, and... Um, that's uh that's what i had to say basil is going to end this video now um messages coming in here are not always things you need to listen to even if someone or a spirit is saying they need help with something max you don't have to listen to it and you don't have to follow it um, and I know that is hard for you because that's one of your triggers is something childlike in need of help. And that, frankly, if another spirit recognizes that trigger, they can get you to do things you don't want to do. So I'm just telling you, you don't have to help spirits just because they say they need your help. You can, you can ignore it. And um, it's not going to lead to anything. It's okay. You are allowed to ignore the random messages that come in. Um, and you're also allowed to make them into stories if you want to as well. I just... We want to protect you. And um, 
we're doing our best there for you. Um, 